guys, I'm N.P. Chand and welcome to my mathematics class. Today I have taken <coughs> the topic limits at infinity. Today also we will find out the uh, limits of algebraic functions at infinity. But I have taken today harder questions. Uh, in earlier video I made also limits at infinity but question I choose at that time easier than these questions okay uh, so let's see how to find out the limits at infinity <clears throat> here we go solution of first questions uh, solution or limits of this function 3x minus x minus 5 as x tends to infinity okay so let's see uh, in which form this uh, question uh, as x tends to infinity then 3x tends to infinity and finally root 3x tends to infinity okay so let's see the form infinity minus okay uh, so now as x tends to infinity then x minus 5 tends to infinity and root of x minus 5 also infinity so infinity minus infinity which is indeterminate form this means we need to simplify this equation requires simplification for the simplification in order to find out the limits <coughs> limit is equal to how can we simplify we just rationalize the numerator so here numerator is this one and in denominator we have a one just multiply up and down i mean to numerator and denominator by conjugate of this one right conjugate of this is root 3x plus root x minus 5 okay here x to x tends to as x tends to infinity or uh, in numerator we write down this x minus 5 is conjugate multiply by is conjugate 3x plus root x minus 5 here or uh, root 3x plus root x minus 5 and numerator we can write down root 3x whole square minus x minus 5 whole square uh, you know here I have used this formula a minus b a plus b is equal to a square minus b square using this formula I have written the part of namely uh, part of this function means numerator part of the function in denominator same without any disturbing <clears throat> you may write down as it is or uh, as limit to extends to infinity in numerator we are gonna get uh, 3x minus or uh, in bracket x minus 5 in denominator we have 3x plus or uh, root x minus 5 is equal to limit x tends to infinity so till now we have not finished the first type of simplification 3x minus x plus 5 we have open bracket for uh, root 3x plus root x minus 5 simple zero we are using here or limit x tends to infinity or uh, here you are going to get 2x plus 5 upon root 3x plus root x minus 5 whatever simplification we have done let's see again as x tends to infinity 2x tends to infinity and 2x 2x tends to infinity then 2x plus 5 also tends to infinity so we have okay, infinity and uh, this also infinity, this also infinity. Infinity plus infinity means infinity. So we have a form infinity upon 
infinity right this means again you need to simplify we have a rationalized okay numerator here and again if you rationalize by denominator you will get the same thing whatever you have here so you can't use okay this type of simplification in case of infinity we do another type of simplification also uh, that is we can take common variable from numerator as well as from denominator okay so as i have done in all your video right uh, here as equal to limit as x tends to infinity you can take variable common means x variable having uh, highest power here is only one variable or uh, x uh, that is also power uh, that is uh, right uh, with one power 2 plus 5 upon x uh, here we can write down this is actually the correct with 2 plus and in denominator we have okay we can't take x common here root x will come because uh, here 3x is uh, under with radical roots and x minus 5 also with root sign <coughs> root x common and uh, here inside the bracket you will get 3 uh, plus 1 minus 5 upon x okay let me clear this here see root 3x means you can write down root 3 into root x okay and uh, uh, root x minus 5 we can write down uh, x common 1 minus 5 upon x which means uh, root x into root 1 minus 5 upon x i think now you are clear uh, this means root 3 into root x and the meaning of this one means this is equal to root x into root 1 minus 5 upon x that's why in both we have root x root x common that's why I have taken here root x as a common term. Mm, okay, now again let's simplify x upon, let me tell you uh, again here, x upon root x, we can write down root x. So what's the reason behind it to write this? We use simple law of indices. So according to the law of indices, we can write down 1 here, here is power 1 by 2. By law of indices, we can write down 1 minus 1 by 2. Uh, which is equal to x raised to the power minus uh, okay so 2 to 2 simply 1 by 2 uh, x raised to the power 1 by 2 means root x okay so here x upon root x we can write down the e root x okay so i don't so think you have a problem now it's clear right so very easily we can write down now here without any confusion uh, you are gonna write this x upon root x root x or uh, here 2 plus 5 upon x upon root 3 plus and root 1 minus 5 upon x inside a root now you are not going to get any indeterminate form now see uh, as you think okay uh, so as x tends to infinity root x also tends to infinity okay infinity and 2 plus uh, x as x okay infinity and 5 upon x tends to 0 0 all right so here we can write down 0 uh, all right and here root 3 on the simply here root 1 minus 0 okay so infinity uh, times to infinity upon uh, root 3 plus 1 infinity divide by infinity divided by your uh, real number you are going to get infinity all right so here we got okay uh, infinity limit of function at uh, infinity is infinity right uh, so one more thing i think uh, i have explained already if there is infinity if you are getting infinity as a limit of function then you can say limit of function does not uh, exist so here so which means okay we should that okay <coughs> excuse me you can say here a limit of function at infinity 
does not exist. Meaning of this one here, if you get infinity, you can say this shows that limit of function at infinity does not exist. Okay, so we can get okay, sometimes okay infinity. This is not meaning this is the infinity is the uh, limit of function. If you get infinity, you can write down okay infinity. Of the, you can say the limit infinity uh, limit of function does not exist. Okay, so I think you are clear how to do this type of uh, question. How to find out, how to evaluate the limit of function at infinity, okay? Uh, so let's move into the next question. Next question is waiting. Uh, okay. Uh, if you have a problem, you can comment about the question. You can ask, but go through each and every step of the question. Now, second part. Uh, first, second, and uh, solution. Second part of this question of first solution of second part of first. Here, same type of question, but a uh, little bit different approach to evaluate. Uh, I don't so think okay, different approach, but uh, question is little bit okay or uh, different type in looking. So that's why I have taken. Okay, let's firstly, first work, okay, uh, let's see the form, form, uh, form of indeterminate, whether it is an indeterminate form or not, okay, so if you see here, okay, as x tends to infinity, let, let me do okay, part wise, uh, as, as x tends to infinity, uh, you're going to get, okay, root x tends to infinity, and uh, uh, root x minus a also tends to infinity, uh, so, okay, overall you can say root x, root x minus root x minus a, uh, okay, tends to, you can say infinity here, infinity minus infinity, so, which is also equal to infinity minus infinity, infinity times infinity, infinity minus infinity times infinity, so form, okay, which one form, you can say infinity minus infinity which is also your indeterminate form okay so let's try to use the same method as a, we have applied in the first root x here let's multiply up and down by conjugate of this one uh, root x here plus root x minus a and uh, here in denominator you will get root x plus root x minus a is equal to a uh, limit as x tends to infinity mm, okay or uh, root x so here i'm writing directly uh, x minus x plus a or uh, listen to me here i have used okay this one uh, a square if you have a, a minus b a plus b we can write down a square minus b square if you see thoroughly the video, you will definitely get it because I have done in first uh, question, right? So there is a no problem. Here I've used okay, this formula and by using this formula, we'll get okay, here x minus x. Here I've written plus because of minus sign will be changed, right? Uh, so inside uh, negative sign will be changed due to the, uh, this outside negative sign. Uh, root x plus uh, root x minus a. Uh, cancel uh, you have the limit as x tends to infinity a root x upon root x plus root x minus a hmm. so again I think this requires uh, simplification for the simplification uh, if we see <coughs> form then you will get to okay. Uh, a root x uh, means infinity upon infinity plus this infinity plus infinity so infinity plus infinity is equal to infinity so here infinity so this is also again in infinity upon infinity uh, means okay again it is in indeterminate form okay uh, so let's let's okay, try to simplify the same approach uh, we will use here same approach mm, with the same uh, strategy here uh, we will use with the same strategy, we will go here also. Uh, see, what is your next step? 
you have only one, you you have to take common. Your yeah, root x, so root x only a into root x, so a into root x. So let's take common root x here. Uh, root x here, 1 plus, you will get here, 1 minus 0 upon x. As I told you, again, okay, let me tell you here, root x in detail, or uh, x minus a, or uh, simply root x plus, here you can write down x common inside the radical sign, 1 minus a upon x. You will get here root x plus, okay, root x into 1 minus a upon x. You will get root x common inside the bracket. You will have 1 plus root 1 minus a upon x. I think you understood how I have written here. I have explained here also, right, separately. Okay. <coughs> Now, cancel. Uh, we have very uh, good uh, situation. We are getting here very good situation. We have one plus. We have uh, removed indeterminate form. Uh, now, this is not indeterminate form because uh, uh, in numerator we have constant. Now, okay, so a upon. Finally, we can find out the limit in one minus. This is a zero as x tends to infinity or uh, your a upon x tends to zero. So I have written here zero. Okay. <coughs> mm, uh, zero uh, is equal to a upon one plus root of one is one is equal to a upon two. So this is your limit of function of this question, right? So this way we can find out the limit of function at infinity. Uh, I think you are clear how to find out the limit of function at infinity. Okay. Uh, all right. Now let's see the last question. Last question is a little bit different here. Uh, you will get to uh, conditions. So let's see. That's why I'm going to tell you. Uh, if you see uh, this question, you can think, uh, uh, you can just guess, okay, this is also, this might be also like these type of questions, but uh, yeah, status is same, but uh, on the way of uh, um, finding a limit, uh, we can get two conditions, we, we can, we can have two conditions, we have to use the conditions, all right, so let's see here. Mm, okay, uh, I'm going to because we uh, this requires a little bit space. Uh, a solution. I'm starting from here. A limit as x tends to infinity or uh, x minus a minus root b x. Okay. <coughs> Uh, okay, everybody. Let's start. Uh, ABC, then from infinity minus infinity. Now you understood how I've written here infinity minus infinity. Uh, limit as x to infinity. Let's simplify. Here we can write down root x minus a, or here x minus a minus root bx. Uh, into root x minus a plus root b x and then denominator we have root x minus a plus root b x is equal to limit as x tends to infinity you are going to get here x minus a minus b x using formula which one formula a minus b a plus b we can write down a square minus b square, right? I have used this formula, using this formula again and again. I am telling, uh, reminding you, and this one, and root bx, okay? Uh, limit x tends to infinity. As infinity, here, you would get, okay, x comma 1 minus b minus a upon root x minus a plus bx. Oh, we know still uh, it is in indeterminate form. Uh, if we see only if we ignore okay, this part and this part, then we will get okay, infinity upon infinity, right? 
बट इफ यू ऑब्जर्व गए इफ यू एनालाइज दिस इफ यू सी वेरी केयरफुली इट डजेंट मैटर ओके एनी कॉन्स्टेंट इट मे बी हियर राइट इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्टर्ब दिस क्वेश्चन इट्स नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज द रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन बट इफ ओके दिस मे चेंज ओके इफ बी इज इक्वल टू वन देन इट्स गोन ऑफ जीरो here you will get zero and in numerator directly you will have a constant constant you get all right you will have a constant then it will not be in indeterminate form right well, then it will not require further simplification if b is okay except one then no problem then at that time okay it will be in indeterminate form so two conditions we have to use right so let's see so if condition first If b is equal to one, because if b is equal to one, it matters. It changes the result. All right, that's why. Because it doesn't matter. Okay, it may be any okay number, any constant. It doesn't matter. Okay, if b is one, it's going to be change the result. Okay, if b is not equal to one, then you will get okay different result. Right. So okay, b is equal to one. One result you will get. And uh, if b is not equal to one, uh, except okay one, uh, it may be any. At that time, you will get the one result. If b is equal to one, then you will get the one result. Let's see. Uh, let's see here. If b is equal to one, then uh, then a uh, limit as x tends to infinity, x one minus b minus a upon root x minus a plus root b x, right? Or uh, is equal to Limit as x tends to infinity. Uh, here x into one minus one minus a upon the root x minus a plus x because b is one. We have if if b is equal to one, then this becomes this one. Okay. Uh, here x times zero, x times zero, zero. Because limit x tends to infinity, this is going to be zero. So zero, zero, x into zero, zero minus a upon you will have root x minus a plus root x. Now this is not in the indeterminate form, right? Because in numerator we have a constant, so no need to think of it further. Just directly okay, find out the limit of function now, right? Is equal to after this here. Mm. Mm. Uh, let me. Uh, sorry. Uh, here, so no need to write down. No need to repeat this. Minus here upon. So let me tell you one thing. Uh, as x tends to infinity, uh, x minus a tends to infinity, and root x minus a also tends to infinity. So again, as x tends to infinity, root x also tends to infinity. Here you are going to get okay infinity plus infinity. Okay, so this you can go through this. All right, and uh, infinity plus, as I told you already, minus a upon infinity plus infinity is infinity minus a upon infinity uh, is equal to zero. So one result you got zero. Zero is the limit of function. Zero is the limit of function at infinity uh, if b is equal to one. If b is equal to one. Let's see the second condition. If your if b is not equal to one, then a limit x tends to infinity. Same part I am writing here of this this one portion because after this we are using condition uh, x one minus b minus a upon root x minus a plus root. B x. If b is not equal to one, then okay, this one is in in which form? This one is. Can you guess? Okay, come on. Infinity upon infinity. Infinity upon infinity. Okay, is equal to. So then only one thing we can do here. So common you have now common x common here. One minus b minus a upon x. And here you will not have x common. You will get only root x common. Here, uh, root one minus a upon x. As I told you already, I have explained. So here I am writing only b, right? Uh, root b x means okay. Root b into root x. Uh, okay. So limit as x tends to infinity. As I told you already, x upon root x. We can write down root x. 
here 1 minus b minus a upon x and here you will get 1 minus a upon x plus root b mm, okay and uh, you okay okay now this is not an indeterminate form uh, infinity 1 minus b minus 0 upon right as x tends to infinity a upon x tends to infinity uh, here also 1 minus 0 plus root b is equal to simply you will get infinity infinity into 1 minus b means infinity infinity divided by 1 plus root b means infinity right uh, okay uh, i think you are clear so if you want to write on one more line all right infinity into 1 minus b means infinity 1 minus b uh, here you will get 1 plus root b and uh, this is okay b and is equal to infinity upon 1 plus root b mm -hmm. i'm writing here so is equal to infinity upon 1 plus root b all right so finally you will have uh, infinity simply you can write down okay uh, infinity uh, okay here or is equal to infinity uh, so again and again i'm doing this thing infinity so i think okay, you can see or not here in this line because of camera <coughs> so is equal to infinity we got to get to uh, if you get infinity as i told you okay infinity uh means limit of function as uh, if you get infinity you can say the uh limit of function does not exist right so two values we got okay here one is zero another one is infinity okay now you can write down so i think you understood now you can write down okay therefore uh therefore you can write down therefore limit extends to infinity or uh, infinity of root x minus a minus root bx is equal to two result you got to get zero uh, if b is equal to one infinity if b is not equal to one uh, okay everybody and here also one more thing you can write down uh, infinity means limit of function does not exist also right because okay a uh, limit if you get okay limit limit of function infinity infinity does not exist okay right so limit is limit does not exist okay limit of function does not exist if you get infinity okay everybody so i think clear uh, i have uh, today explained a little bit a harder question uh, question based on limits of algebraic functions at infinity uh, I think uh, you got uh, each and everything. If you have a still confusion, uh, there is a comment box. You can do comment and definitely um, I'm, I will uh, give response uh, of your questions. Uh, at any cost, okay, I will. Uh, there is uh, no problem. Don't do any hesitation to ask questions or to ask okay, relevant questions of the hill limit. Mm, I hope you are enjoying with my videos and you are learning. Uh, if you have any queries, please, uh, without any hesitation, you can ask. Uh, okay, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you are newcomers, please subscribe and uh, ask your friends to subscribe this channel because the, through this channel, all will be benefited. Thank you very much once again for watching. Bye-bye. Um,